Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Back to Basics series. I apologize for a late video and late upload, but I had some things I was doing yesterday. So, again, I'm sorry about that. But, nonetheless, you got a video, which I'm sure you're glad about that. So what are we doing this week? Well, we were making a picture within a picture. Now, we made something kind of similar to this a while back, um, way in the beginning. We made a picture pop out. Do you remember that video? Well, anyway, it's kind of like that, but not really. It's within the same region of um, easiness, I should say. So this is beginner mode, obviously. And um, so, start off by opening a photo of your choice. I've chosen this lovely photo I found on my computer. But by all means, use any photo you like. This works with any photo you have. All right, now once you have your photo, go ahead and duplicate that layer. Do a control J. And once you've done that, we're going to now go over here to our lovely rectangle tool. You're going to want to have black with your color. And you're going to want to make a rectangle or square, just a section around a portion of your photo. Or the subject, I should say, in your photo. The subject in my photo is the girl. And now you'll notice how I have effects already on my photo, and I will share with you momentarily what those effects are. So double click your shape layer. You're going to add a drop, a stroke to start things off. And my stroke is an inside stroke, in case you're wondering. I'm using around 14 px, but you can go anywhere up to 20 px if you want. Pixels, that is. I'm very sorry for my shortage of words, but um, yes, pixels. I know what they are. Just kidding. Okay, um, so once you've done that, um, go and add a drop shadow to that. We've chosen multiply for our blend mode, which is standard, but some people change theirs, so just make blend mode multiply. Opacity is set at 30%. Angle is 135 degrees. Distance is 30 pixel, 80 pixels. Spread is 0%. And size is 30px. All right, click OK, and you'll see what I have here shown. All right, now once we've done that, we're gonna then take the shape layer, and we're gonna we're gonna sandwich it in between our background and our layer one. Yeah, so just move it right down there, and voila. Okay, now you're probably thinking, well, what the hell good is that gonna do? I don't even see it now. Well, here's what's gonna happen. Select your layer one, which should be above your shape layer. And go over here to your lovely right, or you could be a cool kid and use your alt key. We're going to add a clipping mask to layer 1. I like to go over here and click the word clipping mask because it's very easy to do. Right there. Boom. And oh, look at that. She now has a photo frame. Oh. But now you're thinking, well, that looks really lame. Right. We're not done. Go back to your lovely shape layer. And you're going to want to transform this and just maneuver the lovely um, outline to how you think it should look. Um, and you may need to resize because it might be too big for you. And that's totally fine. I got no issues with that. So I'm going to go transform mine just like that. I like that. Looks really nice. Now, we're going to add one more final layer to this. We're going to add a black and white adjustment layer. This layer must be below everything but above the background. So add a um, black and white adjustment layer above that. And now for this, you're going to have to click the word auto because you need to have it automatically correct the black and white to suit your photo. Click auto and you should see something kind of like what I've done. So your numbers will be different, so just don't mind my numbers. Just click the word auto and it'll automatically give you a black and white settings to your photo. And that's basically it, guys. That's how you do it. That's the cool black and white, lovely photo within a photo tutorial. So if that was not simple enough for you guys, I'm very sorry, but I'm pretty sure it should be. It's not that difficult. Um, yeah, so that's this, fix, this week's tutorial. Um, I will see you again Saturday, maybe possibly Sunday, hopefully. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And again... Thank you for all 10,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Um, we have more things coming, and we'll make bigger stuff. All right? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like my videos. 
The more subscribers and likers and commenters we have, the better we get. Alright, bye!